please don't do this today. Not around me. Don't do this. That's television. That's courtrooms. Yes. Reality is, the guy not gonna come up to you and say, "Hey, I'm well, gonna hit you in the face, but first I'm gonna block, low block, and punch at you." Oh. No. Reality comes into play. I'm, you say, "Mother, hey!" Mm. Reality. Quit doing that when you practice. Yes. Be ready for what? The unexpected. You stand your guard in a safe position. This is your zone. Remember what I said? He can't get to you. Mm. Some of that punch. When somebody starts at you, to hit at you, you read his shoulder. Here it comes out of nowhere. The punch comes. Yes. Punch. <laughs> Boom. It comes out of nowhere. Boom. 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 Yes. Nobody in the street. Nobody running the street that don't take martial arts gonna say, "Hey man, I'm gonna fight you like this." Right. Reality. Yes. I'm not gonna tell Master Storm I hit him. I'm just gonna grab his throat and say, "What would you say?" Yes. Nobody. I'm not gonna tell him. Hey, boy, I'm gonna grab your throat, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You see that? Yes. Sir. No. Reality. Yes. I don't like that. Reality. Let it be as real as this, because in, in your mind, when you get in a real fight, you're going to start thinking, hey, this guy's going to block, and then he's going to step up and punch. No! He's going to hit you. He's going to pick up the chair, two by four, that baseball bat, and he's going to hit you. Yes. Ready? Go. Fight. Good. And stop. So guess what? You just did what? You learned a brand new kata that you can get in your mind and use it to fight, because the yes. bankai is there now. Once you learn true bankai, it's in there. So let's walk through the kata. Yes. You walk through it real slow. Feet here, boom. Here's the miss. Here's the elbow. There's the other elbow coming back. There's the back restraint. There's the elbow down. There's the hands coming up. There's a cross step. Cross step. Punch. Here's the elbow. We turn around again. Now we're back to the original position. We turn around. You go past the body. You go past the head. You go up into the body. You hit the chest. You pull down. You turn and throw the elbow. You just created the kata. You just created the kata without knowing you created the kata. That's what true bankai is. Learning to move without knowing that you're being taught to move. Mm. You just learned the kata. Yes. It's not a kata that you want to use in a tournament. It's a kata that you want to use for life. So now you know as soon as that guy comes. Boom. 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 Kata. I hear all the time. I'm quite sure all the grandmasters heard the same thing. People, they don't run kata. Kata is useless. It's worthless. It's good. It train your mind. It, tra yeah, it, it trains your mind to fight. Yes. Take that with you. Every place you go and remember, bankai is so important. It doesn't change. When he punches, it doesn't, it didn't change. I'm still gonna do what I do. Boom! And walk away. Bankai does not change. Oh, remember what I said earlier? Missing. Making him miss to set up my next move. His arm is here. I love arms. You know why? They break. They're designed to do what? Bend that way. Are they designed to bend this way? Yes, sir. Are they designed for the hand to take it and put it up this way? Walk into you and take you and do whatever you want to do? Is it designed for when you miss, your arm switches to this position here? It's not designed for that. We worked on it earlier. Quadrants. The earth is what? Round. A square is what? <clears throat> square. So you put a circle and a square together, you got the quadrants of a circle, a fighting ring. That's the elements. Nine is a very important number in uh, Japanese. Nine. In Korea. In Korea, and it's very important. I had a test on that one time, and I didn't figure out what my instructor was saying. The quadrants. North, South, East, West, mm -hmm. South category, West category, Low East category. Yes. All those are there. Forces. Right. Once you learn that, you know the body is the same way. I have energy spots in my boy body that I take away from you. Ready? So I go North, South, East, West. Turn. Caddy corner. Caddy corner. Caddy corner. Caddy corner. I'm bringing the energy where? down to where I want to hurt that person. Not, I didn't say I want to take him to the ground. I said down to I want to hurt him. So when I go north, I'm hurting him by what? Pushing your head up. When I go back down, bring your head down. Or I bring my hands to the chest and arm down to the chest. Then I say, hey, forget all that. I want to go caddy corner. So I come up, go across, and I go opposite corner. So he's here, okay? So let's go back and learn this one thing. Try it. It's a beautiful thing. It's beautiful. You know why? It allows me two things. 
what allows me to defend, grab all at the same time, get out loud, dead pass, come back, pass, do what I want to do. It's a game, I'm working on it. He has a defense. He's able to block this. I thought he'd able to block it. Boom. But the triangle says, no. Choo, choo, choo. I switched position. So I went here. He blocked. I joined my triangle back. Where are my hand? Whose hands on the inside now? His or mine? Why? Because I set up what? The triangle. My elbow is here. My block is here. If he does with the other hand, my hand is here to push out. I go back to the triangle, the opposite side, and I go to the elbow. Walk through this with me, because this is very important. And I'm going to tell you why. If I get you here, or hit you here with a palm strike, I'm going to crush that cabinet, I'm going to kill you. So, remember this. Right here. If I can hit you here, it will do some damage. If I can hit you here, it will do some damage. If I hit you here, it will do some damage. Mm -hmm. If I hit you down here, you know, it will do some damage. Mm -hmm. You have four major. The Dantian, the heart, underneath the armpit, and the bottom of the foot. They're energy. Warehouse stores of energy. When you get sick, I want to make you sick. And I'm mad at you. You flirt with my wife or something like that. We be sparring or something like that playing. We're sparring. Marvin flirt with my wife. I hit Marvin in that Don TM. Boom! Next week he's sick. <coughs> he's sick. He's throwing up blood. He's sick. He don't know why. He, he don't know why he's sick. But he's sick. Because I hit him. spot. I hit one of the four major spots to make him sick. You learn the body so well that energy transforms. Energy transforms. So, the first one for the triangle is your hand comes here when he throws that punch, I block here. My hand's in the triangle position. From the triangle, I shoot past, and now I'm able to grab, elbow, strike, uppercut, all at the same time. But I like to do this. I always like to make my first move scary. Relax, trust me, he'll tell you I got good control. Just relax. If I hit you, I got. Oh, he paying for this. He said, <laughs> <laughs> Ready? So, so when he goes here, I have to beat that other hand, so I use the triangle. So when he comes here, two, ha, two strikes are there. My elbow comes here for the block, my contact here, and there's the strike. Automatic. I beat that hand. If he tries to move that hand at me, before, go ahead. So you try to win. No, when you punch, try to get that other hand out there. Who won? Why? Because my hand is already in the position I want it to be in. I'm already here. This is the safest place on your body. Did you try to punch me? Block. Try to punch me. Block. Try to kick me. Stop his technique. My hand's already there. People do this. They back up. They throw in that punch and they go, oh! And the guy does what? He rushes you. Bam! Bam! And he got you going back. You try to kick. He tries to kick. You do what? You cover up but you forget that the foot is longer than what? The arms. You got to go to him with that triangle. You got to go and stop that before it comes up here. You got to stop that leg. And when you stop it, you hit it and you stop that leg. And then you come right up. You come right up because you're already in position. Pa, pa. You're already in position. Always remember, the tighter the better. Grapplers, they love to grab it. But we grab him, he, 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 he think he got control of me. The shoulders, I go to the triangle. I come across and I go right here. Now I'm in control because what? I already set up his neck, I already set up his gear, I'm already gonna choke him out. He already gave me a position to choke him out. I didn't do nothing fancy. Did I do anything fancy? No, sir. No. I let him grab me because I want him to grab me. Please grab me. I don't want the fight to be way out here. He might be strong. He might hit me and I go, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but if I'm in close and he hits me, I'm like, ooh, good. Yeah, what'd you say? You hit me? Good, good shot. I really like that. Oh, you, you hit me again. Oh, you want to hit me some more? Oh, boom. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the first one. One, block the X, go to the back fist to the ear. Do not touch, we don't want to bust anybody's eardrums. But the back hand goes here first. As soon as I touch there, the elbow comes here. Boom, and then I say good night. Boom, and I do a little something nasty to him. I come back here and I break the collarbone. Ah! Ready, let's walk through it. Sorry about that. You're good Uki, by the way. As soon as that hits, I do flesh. Boom! Boom! It already hits flesh. Right, so as soon as here, wow! That's already here. I don't pull out. I don't go back. I'm already there. So I set this jaw up. Remember what I said about the picture? Beautiful picture. Nice, sir. Remember, one, two, three, touch. 
So as soon as he touches, boom, like here. It's already flowing. Right. Right. Now I'm gonna let you hit me here. So my hand come here. So block here. Bring the hand here. So you're gonna, you're gonna hit me on this arm. It's gonna pack your speed. So as soon as that makes contact on triangles, you start to be hitting. Right. No, as soon as you do the triangle, that should hit me. Go. Oh, okay. So watch. I'm going to hit him in the ribcage. Watch how fast that is, guys. As soon as he hit, this would be his phase. But I'm going to go here. Boom, it's already there. Okay. But as soon as I hit that triangle, it's bam, I'm already release. It's two, one touch, already there. Bam! And I come across. It's just that fast. We busted every round that could take the jaw out and go on his knees <laughs> so you just learned a kata. Let's walk through it real slow. So your first one was what? Missing. Turning the cross, throwing the elbow, coming back, bridging the hand, come down, turn around, throwing the elbow. Then we step back up. We did one, two punch. One, two. The elbow came across, palm heel came out of nowhere. Third, we went across the guy's body. We passed his body, came back around, grabbed his head, threw the elbow here, came back, kneed him. From the knee, we stepped over to the elbow. Then we said, oh, this guy is pretty bad. So we went back to block his triangle, stepped up, hit him in the ear, came back with him, stepped around, boom. We came back to the fighting stance, which you really started. You just learned the cop.